in this video we are going to be explain how many uh, 2 cross 1 marks is required for uh, 16 cross 1 marks okay and how many 2 cross 1 marks is required for 1, 0 2 4 and how you can generalize this thing so for doing this one uh, i just want to explain each and everything step by step so let's start with something some common method i usually use to find it out how many marks is required so whenever you are making higher value of marks where 16 input are there one output is there way here two inputs are there and one output is there so whenever higher max is required by making the use of lower marks this is something called max tree okay this over uh, two cross one and start to divide this thing okay so eight again four again two again one okay and simply add them whatever the quotients is there okay the 15 value so oh, this is the, some shortcut i usually do for the competitive exam especially like gate uh, ies this is eight cross one marks okay so now i have to make eight cross one marks by making the use of two cross one marks so simply how many eight inputs are there okay and uh, here one output is there okay or eight inputs uh, what is required simply you required four marks okay and again there is one selective line for these two whatever the output of these two marks is there you are going to be put into the next marks okay and uh, for this level second level how many two marks are there this is four marks are there and again you are taking into the final marks so this is going to be one marks so simply how many for the first level it is going to be four marks later on it is going to be two marks after that one marks okay so how many marks is required seven marks are required now come back to the question if you have 16 cross one marks and you have to make it so how many initially you have to be take two cross one marks you are taking so simply you have to be take it eight marks in the first level okay this is i0 up to i1 like this i15 input 15 and input 16 with the selective line again these inputs come back to the second level okay like this in the first level how many eight are there first divided by two okay divided by two again second level it is going to be four again next level it is going to be two and again at the last level it is going to be one okay so like this like this you will take two and again the two cross one marks and this is the msp over here s3 because uh, you know that uh, 16 inputs are there so how many selective lines are there 2 raised to the power 4 that is 16 inputs so 4 selective lines are there s1 s2 s2 s1 for this level s1 is there this is s0 like this it is there so my objective is not to draw uh, this thing so this thing is actually this thing is called mux tree mux tree we will call this thing mux tree so this is a very important concept okay so whenever you have to withdraw some higher value of mux and uh, suppose i will ask you okay this is something 16 cross 1 mux you are looking okay by making the use of uh, 2 cross 1 mux okay here this is m cross 1 mux is required by making the use of n cross 1 mux so here the value of m is greater than um, uh, n then this structure is called whatever structure you are forming here this is something called mux tree okay our objective is to calculate how many marks is required it so example 8 cross 1 marks so at the first level how many inputs are there if, if you are forming 8 cross 1 marks at the first level it is 4 divided by 2 plus next level 4 divided by 2 that is going to be 2 again 2 divided by 1 so like this it is forming this is the first level second level third level okay now for 16 cross 1 marks how it is going to be this is 8 cross 1 marks for 16 cross 1 marks how it is going to be there first level divided by 2 this is going to be 8 this is going to be 4 this is going to be 2 this is going to be 1 so this is some something this is something called 15 okay simply 2 raised to the power n minus 1 plus 2 raised to the power n minus 2 and like that it will goes on up to n okay so in the last it is going to be plus 1 okay now you know that this is something called gp because every term is going to be divided by 2 and you know there is the very important formula for gp so for gp 
this one formula summation as a very important formula because so many aptitude questions from this question only because whenever you are going through digital electrons you are talking to be the binary number so many aptitude question has been asked in uh, one uh, good mnc i have been asked some binary uh, level questions so at that time this formula is going to be very useful okay so oh, simply for uh, this one uh, summation of the gp is something a is the starting term and uh, this is r n minus 1 if r is r is something ratio first term divided by the second term that is called ratio okay uh, so uh, so r is something where the second term is divided by first term then whatever it it's come this is a uh, ratio so uh, this is r whenever r is greater than 1 and uh, this is something r minus 1 and the same formula for this thing okay a 1 minus r raised to power n divided by 1 minus r if uh, r is less than 1 so like this like this it is there okay so for this one this formula is going to be initial term is there 2 raised to the power uh, n minus 1 it is going to be there and this is something uh, uh, this is something 2 raised to the power uh, if n is there so since r is 1 by 2 less than 1 so that is why i am going to be considered so ratio is 1 by 2 raised to the power n divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 so if you solve this issue this thing so you are going 2 raised to the power n minus 1 you are getting 2 raised to the power n minus 1 and divided by this is something 2 raised to the power n divided by uh, 1 by 2 again if you solve this thing you will easily get so you are easily get 2 raised to the power n minus 1 and this is something uh, 2 raised to the power n minus 1 divided by 2 raised to the power n minus 1 okay you will cancel out this thing you will get 2 raised to the power n minus 1 so this is the generalized formula okay so you are you have to make 2 raised to the power n cross 1 max is required so for by making the use of 2 cross uh, 2 cross 1 max you are required to be simply making this so somebody ask you that uh, give me formula uh, how many how many uh, 4 cross 1 max is required to get uh, 10 cross 1 max okay so how you are going to be so I what I simply do is uh, I just take it out uh, 10 cross 1 into 1 and 4 to the this is 2 4 cross 1 max is required apart then this is the remainder 2 so I required it to 4 cross 1 max and 1 is 2 cross 1 max 2 cross 1 max to draw this thing okay in the lecture i will explain you the little bit complexity in these circuits okay so for time being my objective is that much only i just want to make how many two cross one marks you can form okay how you can generalize this formula and especially this is the binary so hope you understand it now for the next lecture this is something you have to make basic all the basic good by making the use of two cross one marks okay so you have to do this thing bye bye your you own follow me on linkedin and you can endorse my skill if you like thank you have a nice day